Hello, you are on channel 29 with your new tutorial. Isabella Pablo Beachy, Yuri Bella, and Catherine <laughs> Pablo. Well, today we're going to prepare. Wait, wait, wait. What? Want to hear a joke? Okay, what starts with an L, S, and D? I have no clue. Lewisburg, Seoul, and Denton Avenue. Well, you can go through these two places. And we're just going to compare them before somebody interrupted us. <laughs> Anyways, who knows where these places are located? Oh, oh, I do, I do. Well, where? Um, at the bottom of the ocean? I think that's Atlantis Crossing. No, it's not. Well, I know that Louisville is located in Canada. I think it's the Western Hemisphere. Yeah, and Denton Avenue is the United States, bordering Canada which means it's in the Western Hemisphere, too. Even though New York is 1,015 miles away, I guess you could call it the sun. And so is in South Korea. Wait, so is across the world from Canada to the U.S.? Well, that's correct. Oh my god, fucking money! Now we're going to compare the different education slash schools. In Louisville, one of the most popular schools is the George Lewis, which was founded in 1968. People only settle there in the 18th century. But in Seoul, there's an even more popular school called the Seoul Foreign School. For the best school of Denton Avenue. The schools are the same in many ways. The Seoul Foreign School was founded in 1912. The head teacher, who was rich enough to be the head of Denton Avenue, was founded in 1830. There was a similarly cool house at first. This teacher was one of the oldest in Matthew County. Also, the oldest house in Bruce we're comparing. That's because of course like Giovanni Giordano who was there in the 17th century until 2000 years ago was sold. Wow! So foreign school is probably the most popular of the one. And quite a number of schools confirmed the going to be so for so for foreign school organization. Is it 100 million gazillion schools? Uh, what's education like? Well, in South Korea, education is really important. Mm -hmm. well, both public and private schools get paid by the government, even though private schools get paid less. It's still a private school. People go to school 10 hours a day with no vacation and minimum social support. That's like torture. In fact, education is so important, teachers get paid as almost as much as doctors do in the U.S. In the U.S., doctors get paid about $156,000 a year, so about $316,000 a year. Teachers here only get paid $55,693. What is this nonsense? Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that Canada won't be so little education. Far from it, Can in Canada, people can drop out of school at the age of, as soon as the age of 14. In the USA, students drop out at the age from 16 to 18. No wonder all the good schools are in the USA. Okay, moving on. Can we talk about clothing? What? Why? Because I just realized that I'm not a cat. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, we just need to see types of clothing. In Louisburg, so soldiers wear the simple green and black pattern as in America. But a long time ago, there were formal dresses over a beetle coat, like the British did. Or was it for me? But here in Denton Avenue, we are very cultural. We can wear ancient clothes like in South Korea. Sometimes we can cut the beard. Or just simple clothes. What can they wear in Seoul? They actually used to wear special dresses for a humble. There are four more dresses like how a loose person would wear. The metal of Baji, which was basically the bottom part of a humble, they literally translated to pants. But now they wear simple clothes, like us. It wasn't until 1950s when people started wearing jeans and t-shirts. I live with jeans and t-shirts. That's, that's because jeans were introduced to America 167 years ago in the 18th century. You wouldn't really see anyone wearing a cowboy hat and clothes even 100 years ago. Well, it looks like all these three places wear everyday clothes now. That's pretty awesome. And in both Lewisburg and Seoul, they do still wear formal dresses. Again, that's true. So now we have co covered clothing. Let's move on to food. In Louisville, 
Those people in September are Man, all the food shop is making me hungry. We're all one half way through. Anyway, thanks to all people eat sushi, meat, veggies, and dumplings. They go a lot of food and veggies, but so much more meat. We like to eat sushi from the food because there are over 219 species of meat in South Korea. It's agonizing. Uh, Amazing, however, people eat pizza and pancakes. A large pizza in, the, in South Korea only costs up to $24, and pancakes cost up to $5.50. Most people in all three places probably eat the same thing. Every country except South Korea eats mostly fast food and to eat cheaper. Yeah, probably. And I've eaten pizza in Canada, and you can definitely buy sushi from Subway Shop. Can I go to Kendall Street now? Because I want to see if people in Lewis can get people in Seoul get slapped. Um, okay. <laughs> That's just inconvenient. And. Show this show. Where's the show to like the show from anyone or any day? Where's the the police come right away to the visit? Any issue? Ow, that must hurt. And so at least their penalties don't hurt that much. They get slapped they stuff for time long. Well they will get slapped. Yep. So we have some real quick we have to follow a dentist. Like at Denting, you're not allowed to run in the hallway. I think it gets seriously injured or hurt. So all you people that sprint. Start walking. Also, at Denton, you're not allowed to bully people. If people are trying to bring you down, that only means you are above them. Man, that's too serious. Uh, I don't trust these rules. There are a group of people called the Board of Education. They are like the school's government. I think you are talking about something. Like this. There are a group of people called the Board of Education. They are like the school's government. Did you know that South Korea has a democratic government? What the heck does that mean? It means that all the power is held in the hands of the children. I can do you Do you control the do you completely control the government like you just don't mob? No, not at all. In Louisburg, they have a monarchy and a parliamentary government. Each government that we are comparing is with the democratic government. Party. Well, I'm all done in it with government. Now, we should stop at your temperature. And so, everyone has to be on their furnitures. Okay, doesn't Lewisburg also have modern furniture? Hey, I just realized something. All spaces need chairs, desks, and tables. <coughs> But in Lewis Church, though, you need a whole set of furniture. Denton doesn't. This might be because of they spent a lot of money on their furniture. They even spent lots of money on school furniture. That's pretty impressive. This is probably because most schools are private schools and they're very, very rich. Yes, and most people in Seoul are average or above. It has the 11th largest economies in the world. Canada just, Canada does just beat it by being the 10th largest of largest economy in the world. But USA has the largest economy in the world. Their GDP, gross world product, has, was estimated to be over $17 trillion, while Canada has $1.6 trillion, Canadian dollars, and South Korea has $1.367 That's a lot of numbers. Now let's go on to transportation. What's that? How people get from one place to another. Okay. Like in Canada, they use Air Canada, the second most popular airline in all of North America. They are located at the Maple Leaf Lounge. They do about 600 flights a day. Each flight holds 400 people, so about 240,000 people fly each day. The most popular airline in the world. I looked it up. The Canadians also use railroad transportation, which travels all throughout Canada. Canadian National and Canadian Pacific Railway are the most used trains in Canada. About 80 million people ride on a train in Canada. Most people save their time and save their time and ride on the train. Imagine.
imagination sold in many transports, it has gained about 300 kilometers an hour. So main transport is a bullet train which goes 300 kilometers per hour. Party bottle. No, really? At Denton, people get around by walking. They don't drive cars and ride bicycles. And they most certainly do not go 300 kilometers per hour. But the school does have, does have about 600 students. That's a lot of walking. Oh, don't get there and back to the use car twice. People sometimes still go walk, walking. They do, just say, if you go to Canada. Take the airplane because you really don't want to be crammed in a train with 80, 80 million people. Now we have covered transportation, and we will be moving on to the ocean. Oh, right. Thank you for taking your time to listen to the news reporters. Isabella Pavlovici, Yudisha, and the handsome, charming, amazing, Rap of a Dog. But there are only three words that I can use to, 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 use to be used to depart today. They are onion, goodbye, and au revoir. And have, have a, a nice day. day.